This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. It has explosive pass plays. Break yourself, fool. See ya. Hard to stop run plays. <laughs> and glitch plays that beat any defense. What the hell is that? So if you want to know what offense I'm using to get results like this, Got him. stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The offenses and defenses that I'll be showing you guys today can once again be found in my new Buffalo Bills offensive ebook and my Denver Broncos defensive ebook. As always, if you guys want to see more gameplays like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But if you want to see more right now from these or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and you can download them instantly to your phone, computer, or have them sent to the email of your choice. In today's matchup, I play the Green Bay Packers, which despite having a bad season, still feel like one of the most used teams in the game, mostly because of Aaron Rodgers. On the opening kickoff, it's pretty obvious what type of player I am matched up with. If your opponent starts the game off like this, he's probably an obnoxious cheeser that only runs two plays all game. Here we go again. I start the game off on defense and it doesn't start off too good as he breaks off a run before hurrying me up and hitting a small drag to the tight end that somehow glitches out the cover corner. Like seriously, where is he going? And somehow Robert Tanya is fast enough to take a five yard route to the house and outrun every defender I have on the field. What the hell is going on? Get used to seeing this play though, as it's literally the only play he's going to use the entire game. The offense I'm going to be running today is once again the pistol open flex close. I already put out a gameplay video showing how good the run plays are, so if you guys missed that, I'll have a link in the description for that, as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video. But in today's video, I'm going to be going over the pass plays as they are just as dominant. As this is my favorite base offense to use when I'm using the Buffalo Bills, and I'll be using it for most of the game, because it's really hard to stop. The five plays that I use for my audibles are the motion zone split, the RPO reflat wheel, the end inside zone weak and the PA pin deep. This setup gives me four plays good for running and passing against any man or zone defense. For the last play, I'll be choosing my fifth play going back and forth between the Z spot and the PA boot, which you'll notice going the exact opposite directions. Once again though, this game doesn't start off well as I don't get much on the first run and on the second play I completely miss while trying to throw the ball in the run across my body. I switch over to the gun split slot, which is probably my second favorite offense out of this playbook. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see a full breakdown of this offense as well. I choose the back's cross as it's guaranteed that one of these running backs will get open on the next play and we barely get the first down. My opponent is pretty much only running cover three, which I said in previous video might be the meta defense to use right now because the cover three cornerbacks in the deep third cover everything so much better this year than in past years. But on the next play though, I see he is in an obvious man zero blitz. So I switch over to the PA pin deep, which is probably my favorite play in this formation since man coverage is the meta this year. All you have to do to set this play up against any man coverage is block the tight end and put the air X route on the zig for a check down. And now every route beats any man coverage. The outside receivers especially are both capable of scoring from anywhere on the field if you have a fast enough receiver to run away from the defense, but I get caught from behind. I switch to a run in the red zone to pick up a quick five, but I see he is still in that man zero, so I hurry him up to keep a minute, go right back to the PA pin deep, and score on the zig route adjustment to tie the game up. Oh, shit, that's just too easy. On defense, I don't know what happened the first series, so I decided to switch it up to the dime 2-3 in hopes for better run defense and better coverage. The play I'm going to choose first is going to be the silver pin shoot, which is another defense that I've already put out. Link in the description. On the first play, he runs the inside zone again and gets about the same result before hurrying me up again and trying to score in the very next play. Only this time, the pressure gets home, <laughs> causing an underthrown ball gotcha, bitch. that I come up with on a user pick. He mostly ran cover three on the first drive, so I go back to the PA boot, and I don't have to make any adjustments. I just have to read it from front to back as all these crossing routes will get open against zone and only the RB route will get open against man coverage. Goddard takes a minute to get through the line, but once he does, I read man coverage on the next play, so I switch back to the RPO reflat wheel, which is probably the glitchiest play in this formation. If you watch the cornerback on the motion route, sometimes the defender falling across will just stop halfway through, leaving him wide open, uncovered for an easy catch and run, which is why this play is actually banned in EA tournaments right now. I run the next three plays, but his cover three run defense has a loaded box and it shuts me down, ultimately stalling the drive and ending it in a field goal. Back on defense, I choose the Overstorm Brave and start using a setup that I put out from a previous video that is way different than the normal meta setup. Link in the description once again. And Robert Tanya is playing like he has superstar abilities or something. 
On the next play, though, the Blitz gets through, forcing Rodgers to throw it away from the inside of the pocket, resulting in an intentional grounding penalty that you rarely see. On 3rd and 17, though, he runs that exact same play and picks up the first down on a slant with ease. Aside from using only two plays, he also runs hurry up the entire game as he hurries me up and hits me with an inside zone once again. We stay with the pressure and he stays with the drags. Then on 4th and inches, the pressure is right in his face, but this is Aaron Rodgers and he gets the ball out in time for the first down. Then he gives himself up as he is now trying to kill clock so he can give me the ball back with no time left before half. Smart but super annoying. He is now predictably running the ball, so we come out in our cover for quarters out of the 3 for odd, which is the defense we put out just yesterday. Link in the description if you missed it. I said in the previous video, this play can shut down goal line runs, and that's exactly what we do. If nope. He tries to hit me with a fullback dive and loses a yard before coming out in the cross wheel once again as he barely catches it despite being in tight coverage. Damn it! He goes for two though and this time we get the stop just to play late as a fourth down knockout would have been much better. Back on offense with plenty of time he is only running cover three zone at this point so I picked the Z spot. Against any zone all you have to do is streak the B route and either the corner route or the tight end should get open with a good pass lead as we dot him up for an easy first. Then we choose the PA boot and go the other way but Goddard can't get out of bounds so I have to waste the time out. I go back to the Z spot and almost throw a pick six, that was a close one. but somehow get the first. I, then I go back to the PA boot once again, and Goddard once again can't get out of bounds, costing me another timeout. What? But you can see how I'm constantly going from one side of the field to the other, making it very hard for my opponent to know where the ball is going. Now that I have no timeouts, I need to get down the field faster, so I switch to the gun bunch, and A.J. Brown makes a huge play getting out of bounds in field goal range. On the next play, I see him cover through once again, so I make an out route adjustment, hoping to make a quick catch and go out of bounds, but for some reason, the animation forces him back inbounds, keeping the clock running and costing me a field goal. Oh, come on! Second half, I get the ball and I start making more cover three adjustments like that 10 yard out route again. It should be the cornerback every single time, although the coverage is tight as cover three cornerbacks are no joke. That was a close one. Then I just go side to side in the field, switching from the PA boot to the Z spot, making my opponent's user completely invisible as he has no idea which direction the ball is going on the next play. I hit him with a few run plays to keep him honest before going right back to the Z spot for a big play inside of field goal range once again. Then the Madden BS starts kicking in. He switches to a man coverage, so I go back to the PA pin deep, and I still have no idea how this wasn't a catch and run. What the hell was that? Then on the next play, he is still in man. The defender doesn't follow, leaving the motion receiver wide open. Only he does some sort of pirouette to catch the ball and gets immediately tackled when it probably should have been a catch and run for a touchdown. So once again, I have to settle for a field goal and to tie the game. Now with six minutes left, you know this cheesy jackass is going to try to run out the clock from here. But on the first two plays, he tries to go deep against my cover four and the safety knocks them both away before going right back to the double drags to barely get the first. I'm trying everything on defense to stop these drags, whether it's setting my zone drive shading underneath and nothing is working and he keeps hurrying me up which is a really funny way to run the clock since he's just making me sit here until it manly runs down every time I try dropping everyone back to take away these drags and he just waits me out until the coverage breaks down and hits me for a big play. The next play I try to send the house and he makes the right decision again dumping it down underneath and it feels like I'm playing the real Aaron Rodgers right now. He is already in field goal range and time is running out so I desperately need to stop. With two minutes left he has just enough room to get the first down, burn all of my timeouts and kick a field goal to win the game. So bottom line another first down game is over for me. I get him into a third and five and I finally lock up the drags forcing him to step up with Aaron Rodgers. Rogers. He makes my user tackle miss, and that was a huge mistake as the ball is out in a sea of green and we get the ball back with plenty of time. You may think that was a fluky fumble, but everyone knows that fumbles happen way more often when you run with the quarterback and you don't slide. Not to mention if you dive with the ball or if you're around the goal line, and he did all three. I go back to the Z spot for a quick first, but I only have one timeout and Goddard makes me burn it once again on the very next play. So with no timeouts left, I know I have to take a shot against this cover three. So I'm going to show you guys a one play touchdown from another one of my favorite offenses, the gun normal Y off close. I already put out a full breakdown of this in practice mode on my second channel as well so if you guys want to see more have a link in the description for that against cover three all you have to do is run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field motion this receiver in and put everyone on streaks except for the x route which i put on a fade which i find helps very slightly to get this guy open for a one play touchdown then watch for the cornerback to react to the corner route break yourself fool <laughs> And I would have easily been gone, but we're playing the same annoying clock game that he was because this is payback time for being such a cheesy jackass all game. 
Plus, he still has all of his timeouts, so I'm not going to give him any chances. So I just call three straight pass plays, then throw it out of bounds. He tries to ice me, but I got ice in my veins from this distance as we get a very satisfying win. We get a quick look at the stats. If you deduct the last three passes that I threw out of bounds on purpose, I completed 21 of 26 passes, which is over 80% of my passes completed. And that's that's the bit. If you guys want to see more from the offenses and defenses I was using throughout this game, I will have links both popping up on the video right now. So if you want to see that, just click the link on the screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Mice it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.